Hi, Tammy and Michelle from Two Single Moms. I'm so excited about this interview. I'm Ann Mahoney. I play Olivia on The Walking Dead. And um, I'm excited to answer your questions. So I'm going to look at them now. So what is it like being on a show with such a unique and intense fan base? Did you know you were what you were getting into when you accepted your role as Olivia? So... Being on The Walking Dead and having their amazing fans follow me is a blessing. It's um, a game changer in my career, and I feel very lucky to um, be a part of this show. <laughs> and did I know what I was getting into? Absolutely not. I had no idea that when I my first day on set, um, we actually I think it was my second day on set. We ended up watching a preview for season five for um, the mid-season. No, it was the beginning of the season. We ended up watching season five premiere at a little party with um, the cast and the crew. And every, when we got there, they were like hiding everybody to go into where we were watching. And I thought, well, this is strange. And But that's how it is with this show is you're always kind of being careful about people finding anything out so and then to see how the fans react to everybody it's it's just it's the best thing they're the best fans lovely people so see your next question please tell us about an experience you have had with a fan that absolutely made your day I know exactly which one I want to talk about. Um, I was doing a book signing in uh, Sonoya at the coffee shop there. I love that little coffee shop in the corner. And this mom came with her daughter. And her daughter, I think, was 13 or 14. And um, she was just beautiful. She um, was curvy and had this beautiful mouth that um, basically people would get injections in their lips to look like her. I mean, she was stunning. But, you know, being 13, 14, she's going through what a lot of us go through at that age, which is trying to learn to accept ourselves as we change. And, and she wasn't feeling good about herself. And her mom was like, can you talk to her? And I thought, yes, I will. I'll talk to her. So um, she told me kind of what she was going through with some of the girls at her school. And this is, I mean, one of the things that us women have to do so much better. We have to be so much more kind and supportive to one another because the world is hard enough for women. And um, if we're not helping each other, then it affects everyone. So um, I told this girl, she said, yeah, I wear this neutral lipstick because I don't want my lips to stand out because they're so big. I said, girl, put some red lipstick on, show them off. And, um, and she was complaining about her her size and all that. And I said, you know what, sweetheart? People are just jealous of you because you have a beautiful body and you're attractive. And um, she smiled and she had tears in her eyes. And her mom had tears in her eyes. And that was the thing that was the real beautiful part for me. I hope to get to do a lot more of that. Um, is there a specific cause, charity, or message that you want fans to know that you stand for? Yes. Um, so for me, it's really important that, uh, women celebrate themselves and what they look like and love themselves in the way that they look. Um, I think it's important to pursue good health and, um, and important to have uh, a good diet so that you can take care of the body that you have and, and live a longer life. Um, but I think that there are a lot of different body types and there's a lot of different ways to be healthy. And I think that women, as much as we can, have to support each other in our pursuit to be healthy and to love ourselves as we are. So for me, that's my main cause is I want to inspire women to be brave and to be bold and to love themselves and to love other women and tell other women how amazing they are, to build other women up, right? Because if within our ranks we're kind of pulling each other down, then how can we ever expect to attain the kind of equality that we want to attain? So that's definitely my main goal. <laughs> Let's 
see. What's your next thing? Is there a celebrity musician out there you would love to meet or have absolutely gone fangirl over when you met them? Okay, so I have to admit this. Um, I think if I met Helena Bonham Carter, I might, I might fangirl out. I love her. I've loved her for a long time. I loved her Ophelia in um, Mel Gibson's Hamlet. I thought she was just transcended. She was amazing. So I think I would freak out if I met her for sure. Um, and musician, jeez, there's so many I would totally freak out if I met. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Who would I freak out? For? What musicians? I would love to meet um, Mayor Hawthorne. I think he is really creative and super hot. And, um, ooh, I would love to meet Diana Krall. I just love her. My father's a jazz musician, so I have a strong love of jazz. And uh, I just think she's the bee's knees. Let's see. Is there a, oh, you said that. Were you a fan of The Walking Dead before you were cast as Olivia? Yes and no. I was a fan of the comic books. They're actually stacked up. <laughs> Some of them right up there on the top of my bookshelf. But fan of the comic books. Um, I didn't watch the show because I have little kids and it's not exactly conducive to children watching. But once I was cast, I went back and watched a bunch. And I, I do think it's a really special show. As a person who, you know, I was in New York for 9-11 and in New Orleans for Katrina. So I have a, a good sense of what the apocalypse feels like and what it means to survive. So I definitely identify with the show. Let's see what you have next. Are you a fan of TV series Supernatural? I couldn't tell you if I'm a fan because I watch very, very little television. Um, when I'm not working, I really try very hard to focus on my kids and my husband and trying to pull my house together. <laughs> uh, so I don't really spend a lot of time with television. I'm also doing a bunch of writing, and that's all going really well, but that takes up a great deal of my time. So um, I probably would be a fan if I watched it. Maybe I should start. And have I ever been to a Kid Rock show? No, I have not been to a Kid Rock show. The most recent concert I went to was Ray LaMontagne with um, My Morning Jacket as a backup band here in New Orleans at the just stunning Sanger Theater. That concert was extraordinary. It's one of the first albums in a long time that I've downloaded and I just put it on shuffle and listen to it. It's extraordinary. So, yeah. So um, thank you, Tammy and Michelle, Two Single Moms. I appreciate you interviewing me. And uh, maybe I'll get to meet you sometime. That would be amazing. Just running all over the place these days. So thanks so much.